All right, so let's talk a little bit about how to make more abstract components in React. And one approach a lot of people tend to take is they will have custom hooks. Okay, so I want to talk about custom hooks, kind of explain what the purpose of a custom hook is and how it can help your code be a little bit more clean. But you need to decide for yourself if this is actually something you want to do. So this is the Star Wars API app I worked on in the refactoring video a while back, and I did do some changes to it to make it use React Query. Which off the bat, I mean, like if you're using React Query, it seems pretty clean because the data is abstracted away from you. You don't know where this data is coming from. But the issue is, is like down the road, let's say you decide you don't want to use React Query anymore. You want to actually do something more custom. Maybe you want to actually do an Axios call with use state and use effect for whatever reason, because it's very difficult to traverse their API or something. Well, unfortunately, this app is coupled to React Query. So the way that this app knows how to get data is bound to a third party library. And that could potentially be troublesome, um, especially if you ever need to refactor in the future. Imagine you have 50 components, they're all using React Query, and you decide you don't want to use React Query anymore, do you want to use something else? Well, it's 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 bad because you just coupled everything. And let me say it's not that bad. I mean, you can easily refactor, just spend, it'll just be some extra time. But let's just do an approach where instead of having this component depend directly on React Query, let's try making a new folder called Hooks. Or you can put the hook in it wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to make a new hook called use characters dot js. And the idea is that this component would call use characters like so. And we might have to pass it something like page or something so it actually knows what page to fetch. Um, but we're going to do that and we're going to go ahead and cut this stuff out. And I'm going to say export const use characters. And by the way, if this is something that you do in your project, leave a comment below and let me know if you find this useful or not. But we're just going to go ahead and right now just abstract this away like so. So there's a lot of stuff that is up here that we were using to figure out how to actually fetch that data. So what I would do is just copy all of this stuff out into your JavaScript code. And some of the stuff you could just kind of delete. Um, so there's some more cleanup I could probably do in this file and maybe I'll do for you in this video just so you can see some more refactoring. I feel like people like watching real refactoring go on. But now you notice here this component is not even using the React Query library. So you've made your component decouple from React Query. And if that is a goal that you and your team want to do is decouple from your third party dependencies, then that's what you should do. Um, also this stuff, I don't think we need any of this. So let's just go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and do this. And now we're also not coupled to Axios. We're also not coupled to the way that we fetch people from the API. So now the only thing this thing depends on is this function, right? So we've done some abstraction. We don't care where this data comes from. We don't care how we fetch the data. All we care is that there's a function we can call and it's going to give us back some characters and it's going to tell us if the characters are still loading from the API or not. And right now, this whole thing is kind of passed through. So you're not truly 100% decoupled from React Query, but there is an interface here, which, you know, assuming that you follow the correct interface, like you could probably not put data here. You could instead just put characters. And down here, we could simply just return something else. So let me just go ahead and say like data is characters is loading. And if you want to further kind of like prevent your components from knowing about React Query, then probably don't return data and just return an object that has characters in loading. Let's just go ahead and run this because I want to make sure it works before I'm showing you stuff that doesn't actually work. Go ahead and run this. Okay, npm run start. What is this? Create React app. Um, so cannot resolve fetch people. So let's go back to our custom hook that we did. And we are calling fetch people somewhere and it cannot resolve it. So if we look at where we're importing fetch people, we probably just need to go up a level. And let's see if it loads now. And everything is loading perfectly fine like it did last time. But yeah, I guess the idea is now we don't have this coupling going on between our components and where the data is coming from or how the data is fetched, which is good, right? That's kind of what we're striving for when you get to a more manageable, maintainable projects. And this is approach I've seen a lot of different React projects starting to follow, or maybe they've been doing it for a while and I'm kind of just out of the loop. But I think it's a pretty good approach. I think it's good to abstract stuff away. But yeah, anyway, have a good day and happy coding.